Hey everyone, this is Stefan with Sound Collective Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to route your mix for bus processing inside of your session. And the purpose of bussing out all of your tracks is to maintain proper gain staging throughout your session, along with you're able to process a group of instruments um, collectively. So, for example, all of your guitars at once, um, your drum bus at once, your lead and background vocals all at once. And this kind of makes your mix uh, a lot more cohesive and tight and put together. So I'm going to do a quick playback of the current mix as is. It's not finished yet. Um, but just so you can see where how much headroom each collection of instruments is kind of taking up within the buses. So I'll start the playback now. And I want you to pay attention to the faders down here, the DB. And so you can see the master sitting at negative uh, 9.6, my drum bus is at negative 12, uh, the kick itself is at negative 12. So this just gives a more, um, more of a view over your project, more control over your project when you do bus processing. And so what we're going to do now is I'm going to revert to an earlier part of the project, and then you can, uh, I'll show you how to uh, bus out your project. So if you go to File and Alternatives, and if you're unfamiliar with alternatives in Logic Pro 10, I do have a tutorial uh, kind of going over it, and uh, it's pretty sweet. You can see it's super fast. So here is the beginning of the project, not the beginning, but I've done the editing and color coding and such, and this is the next step in my process in terms of mixing. Um, I will, all I've done with the faders, I've just dragged them down to negative 11, and you know, before I even start my static mix, I create my buses. So the first thing that you want to do is kind of count how many that not kind of you want to you want to count how many uh, Buses you're going to need inside of your session. So we'll need one for guitar two for the synths uh, Three for kick four for Tom five for the drum bus six for lead eight for background They'll need a vox. So we're gonna need about ten. I usually create an extra one just to be safe. Okay, so to create a um, auxiliary track, which is what will route to the buses inside of Logic Pro 10, is you hold Control and N. So Control N will create auxiliary tracks inside of Logic. And then what we want to do next is to, these are auxiliary tracks and we want to route them into a bus, right? So if you go to input 1 and 2 and click on it, this gives you the option to route it to a bus. So we're just going to go down the board here. This is kind of a tedious process of mixing. It pays off in the long run though. And eight. Nine. Ten. Cool. So the next thing that you want to do is to, of course, name your uh, buses. You always want to name everything in your session, especially if you're sending it to somebody else. So we had guitar, Sin, kick, snare, drum bus, then L box. Then we have BGV, Fox bus, then master. As I said, I always create just an extra one or two, just uh, just in case I miscount it, because it does happen when you're working in uh, larger projects. So we'll delete aux ten, and then since the base is just by itself, we're just going to route this directly to the master. And then we'll do all the guitars to bus one. Keys will go directly towards the master or into the master. These are going into the synth. These are going into the kick. And these last three we're just going to route to the drum bus. Vocals will go to L box. And backgrounds to backgrounds. So once you have all of your instruments, uh, recorded instruments, what have you, routed into their buses, you need the next step is to route your buses into their appropriate uh, sections. And so we'll have the guitar, the synth, the drum bus, and if you hold Command, that's what allows you to uh, select tracks with uh, gaps in between. Uh, and then we'll do the Vox bus. These are all going into the master. And the kick and snare are going to go into the drum bus. And then the lead vocal 
bus and the background vocal bus will go into the vocal bus, the Vox bus. And to bring these to Unity, uh, you just select all, hold option, and click on the fader, and they'll bring that to, to Unity gain. And so that's how you uh, route your session for, for busing. It looks a lot more complicated than it is. Once you practice it inside your DAW, um, you'll see kind of the simplicity and the benefits of doing so. Every professional mix will have bus processing, bus processing inside of it. Uh, so hopefully this video helped you guys. Um, if you'd like to see any specific tutorials, uh, please leave your comments in the comment section below. If you have any tips on uh, how I can make my tutorial tutorials better, please also leave them in the comment section. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.